this is Ruth speaking from Artful Sass Design. Today I'm bringing you a motherhood journal. I made this kit a while ago and sold almost immediately the motherhood kit that I made with it. So I thought I would do another one. And I've also added some images in an add-on kit just because they were so beautiful and I used them in this journal. So I have um, closed it with some sari silk, just two pieces in different colours which I thought look nice with the journal. I just tied a bow which has decided to tangle up for me and you can see that I have made the cover of material and I have um, added some lace and I've done some boolean stitch, French knots and some running stitch just to give some interest to the front cover. This extra material I've added some, it's almost quilted the fabric pocket on the front here and there's room for a couple of tags. So these tags are made with the new images in the add-on kit for motherhood. Um, they're just um, tea stain paper on the back. They also have some silk and some bullion stitch. That's the rest of the embroidery on the front cover. The embroidery goes over the spine and into the back. There, there's no pocket on the back, but there is a little bit of quilting. This image is quilted with little French knots holding it down and it just gives it a little bit of texture, some bullion stitch and more lace. So that's the front cover and I think it's rather beautiful. So this journal is all about motherhood and the joys and sometimes the, the, the worries and pains of it. So if you have somebody who's about to have a baby, it's a nice gift. Or if you're about to have a baby yourself and you want to rec record some of the better moments. So there are um, three signatures and um, some flip outs. It's actually got some flip out recycled envelopes on the inside cover. It's a hard cover made from a recycled book. Um, this is an envelope um, which has got a flip out and another window envelope with a little um, journal card there and a pocket with a large tag. I love making these big tags. A bit of Roxy Creations background papers there. And this opens out with the inside of the other envelope and an, a lovely journal card from some children. The belly band with another beautiful sleeping child. And here we have another pocket here and I have some paper from the kit there. And that's got paper from the kit collaged on the back. The first signature and I've added a little collage on it, a pocket with some images. This is just from my kit with a Roxy Creations label, some French letter and this is an envelope from the kit with a little journal card in it and some avocado stained paper, that was a bit of a mouthful and here we have um, a little tuck spot with flocked paper trimmed with some recycled packaging and two little journal cards that slip inside. And here we have Tim Holt's um, cutout and I've made this um, collage card with a little embellished tassel. I think the pink looked nice with the avocado stained paper. And I have a large tag here which has got some embroidery on the back and tea stain paper lining it. It's a very old paper clip so it's got some rust coming off which is very authentic. Here we have flopped paper and a collage paper and a couple of tags. <coughs> Excuse me. Some more tea stain paper and a flocked envelope with another um, motherhood card. I got some images from Mrs. Cog for the mother's images. But there's lots of paper to, lots of journaling space to write your thoughts and feelings about motherhood and there's little words all the way through. This is the middle of the first signature. We've got Whistler's mother, some random journal cards from my kit and a little butterfly. And here we have a lovely mother with kissing children. And here we have the second, um, the other side of the signature. Got some uh, ruby and pearl images. 
and I think it's a blue garden kit maybe. And the age old playing with your child. It's it's lovely that this is um the age old copying. Doesn't matter how old or what century, children are the same. Some background papers from my kit and this is from the motherhood kit. And here we have some more journaling cards tucked into a, one of my background papers. A little page embellishment. Another one there. This one is stitched with my sewing machine. And this is just an embellished um, flip out with some collage. Tracy Fox label. Um, avocado stained paper. The back side of one of the letter pages from the kit. And this is a little embellishment where I stuck the lavender is actually on the edge of the pages in the kit. This is um, <coughs> a pocket made with a space for a large tag. I do like making the large tags. It's made with a, from a window envelope and you can see that I have collaged and there's a Tracy Fox label. And this is one of the new images from the add-on kit. And we've got the age old words, enchantment, captivating. And we have mother and child images in the journal cards and some little flower cards in the smaller pockets. So this is another uh, recycled envelope. And on this side, I have a CD cover. Uh, so, no, this is not the CD cover. This is a recycled envelope with a little heart shaped pocket, which takes some smaller tags. People who say they sleep like a baby usually don't have one. How true is that? <laughs> we all know about sleepless nights with a new baby. Here we have a beautiful butterfly on a belly band of smaller butterflies, Tracy Fox. And one of the large collage kits. I think this is a Tracy Fox freebie if I'm not mistaken. And that is one of my background papers. Throughout I've got some jelly prints which um, colour wise just seemed perfect for this journal. Here is the CD cover. So this was a, a, a tutorial by Amanda Kerr. Angela Kerr? Angela Kerr. And she'd taken the CD cover and made it um, a heart instead. And the heart was the pocket on this page. And I have a collage. Um, tag journal card that fits in there and we have two little brown paper bags made into flip pockets and one of the collage paper from the kit. So it's perfect for a new mother. Write down all her thoughts and secrets on the few moments they have free. I've tried to keep the colours pretty and uh, fun to use and the little hearts a collage tag, avocado stain paper, and some tea stain paper, and here's a recycled envelope, heavily collaged card with one of the um, images from the kit. I love this family, they look so special. Oops, I need to just make sure I attach that again, a little bit of glue needed there. Again, the collage kit, and Be gentle with yourself because you're totally loved and incredibly needed. And on this side, a little belly band and with two mum and grandma doting on the child. Same story as there is nowadays, really. Some old dictionary paper. It's very old and a little bit brittle. Some lined paper. And this is flocked paper, which I thought with the hearts was very suitable for motherhood. A lovely image of these beautiful hats they were just perfect aren't they and a little bit collage on the reverse and some stenciling and i think my battery is about to run out so we have to go quickly and some more craft paper pockets and another pocket and this is a collage paper with the card tea stain paper and some more cards. This is a little um, tag with um, a pocket. So if I run out of battery, it'll just have to be two videos. And 
some more stitching along there and some paper, lined paper, the other side of the dictionary. And here we have the other side of the envelope with a collage and a motherhood um, collage tag in there. That's from the kit to the collage and envelope with an envelope inside and flopped paper with some collage card and some other heart shaped interior paper. This is insert is from that um, um, Angela Kerr. So it's recycled envelope flipped and you've got um, a little pocket on that side and that sits inside. So this is actually cut out to match the collage. And here we have deep pocket and the final signature. So there's double pocket there with some tags. Tags have some images on them and some more images on that side. And here we have a craft envelope. It's got tuck spot and this is actually another tuck spot although there's nothing in that one. I don't want it to be too fat. And here we have another pocket with three tags and there's a very deep flap there. You can tuck something inside. Avocado stained paper and here we have another pocket. This time I had um, a collage tag with lace on the bottom and realised I hadn't glued the bottom but I rather like the, the lace sticking out so I left it open. Other side of the, of the dictionary paper and a flat pocket in a nice collage on the inside with lined paper and some stenciling and more um, deep pockets with sten um these are um, another bit needing a little touch of glue and deep pockets with some collage car journal cards another flap stenciling graph paper dictionary paper lots of space for writing and oh another flap out there and there's just a little collage on the inside and the old card there. This is actually a little notebook. Oh, there's a little um, pocket inside. It's not a notebook. And this is the back. So the back flaps open. And we have some avocado, avocado stained paper on there. And these two beautiful big tags. I just love the images. These are in the add-on kit. Um, and that's jelly print that just seemed to be perfect for the back and a lace collar with acetate backing to protect it when you're putting things in and out. And then that's one of the large images from the kit, from Mrs. Cog's kit actually. And then that's it. Thank you very much for wa watching and I hope you enjoyed it. So this would be on, in my Etsy store and you can actually buy the kits as well. Thank you for watching and have a great day.